Yeah, I know this is from yesterday, but hey, this is something that I very much do indeed like. The Vancouver Canucks, according to Ian McIntyre, are going after Josh Levo. Let's look at the tweet that was uploaded yesterday by iMac on Twitter. Even with 15 forwards under contract, the Vancouver Canucks are still trying to re-sign Josh Levo. Today's negotiated settlement with Jake Vertanen does not eliminate the 24-hour buyout period the team has this weekend. So, Levo, man. We spoke about this in a previous video. I talked about five of the most interesting UFAs still on the market. In that video, we spoke about Mikhail Granlund, we spoke about Josh Levo, Andreas Athanasiu, Anthony Duclair, and then I believe the last one was Mike Hoffman? I don't remember. It was a while ago. But we spoke about Josh Levo in that video as a guy who can be maybe one of the more underrated picks if any of these teams are willing to take a chance. Let's go over Josh Levo's profile right now. Levo is indeed 27 years old. He is no longer the young guy that he was back when he was with the Toronto Maple Leafs, but as a 27-year-old left-wing, right-wing player, 6'2", 192 pounds, a right-handed shot, Josh Levo is a guy who, in my opinion, can definitely be a capable point producer in this league. In the most recent season of play, he had 36 games and 19 points, 7 goals, 12 assists. If you do the math, 19 divided by 36 multiplied out by 82, you have yourselves a pace of 43 points over a full season. Change that 19 over to 7 and you have yourselves a 16 goal pace. That's not bad. Really not bad for a guy who recently was getting paid $1.5 million on the Vancouver Canucks cap hit. He's a guy who, honestly, I don't really know if he would actually be able to match that number going into next season because, first off, the flat cap is a thing. Second off, he missed out on all hockey in 2020. He hasn't played a game since 2019, which is not amazing, but, of course... There were indeed injury struggles that we had to go through, and we were looking forward to seeing Levo potentially return for the playoffs. That never happened, and now, going into 2020-2021, we'll hopefully be in a spot where Josh Levo is able to come back and actually compete. But... It's going to be difficult for a team out there in a flat cap world to give him a similar contract to what he had before after a year's worth of not playing hockey. So I would expect Josh Levo to come out here and sign for a cheap one year prove it kind of deal, maybe something below one million dollars, maybe something even two way. Who knows? Because when you have somebody like this who is so uncertain, but if he does work out can be so great then, you know, you kind of have to play your chips properly. One, if you're the team that signs Levo, and two, if you're the agent and Levo's party themselves. So, if the Vancouver Canucks are able to get themselves a Josh Levo to add on to the 15 forwards they already have, then, you know, I would like to see it. If Josh Levo is a guy who is good enough to crack this roster, and he's a guy who can provide a bottom six scoring touch, that certainly would be nice to see. Of course, we don't know if it's going to happen. The Canucks are still over the cap, but we still have a lot of ways to go about freeing up money but we'll see what happens regardless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Josh Levo and the Vancouver Canucks potentially going after him. I would personally love to see him back. Tell me in the comments if you would as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to Trolls and Lion 9. And bye. <laughs>